Greetings, everyone. It's good to be with you once again this week for another video message update. My intermittent travel throughout the great state of Michigan is over and I have returned to Shelby Township. I am out of the wind and the waves and into the air-conditioned and mosquito-free apartment. This exact contrast, the contrast of wilderness camping to the comfort and convenience of townhome living, reminds me of this week's Old Testament reading, which comes to us from the prophet Jeremiah. To make a long story short, Israel is tired of living under Babylonian captivity. And in their tired state, in their weary state, they turn to the community's religious leaders for advice about how to live in this oppressive state. Well, two prophets step forward, offering different perspectives. The first prophet is Hananiah, and Hananiah prophesies peace very soon, that God is going to deliver Israel out of Babylonian captivity very soon. And so just hang in there a little bit longer and everything is going to be good and wonderful. Jeremiah, by contrast, prophesies that Israel will be staying in captivity to Babylon for a long, long time. Now, which of the prophets do you suppose the people appreciated? Which of those two messages do you think the people listened to? Hananiah gave the popular response. Hananiah told the people what they wanted to hear. But Jeremiah, by contrast, told the people what they needed to hear. Jeremiah told the people God's truth. And God's truth is this. It's better to trust God and struggle than seek an end to struggle without God. Let me repeat that for your consideration, for your contemplation, and most hopefully for your gospel transformation this week. It is better to struggle with God than to seek an end to struggle without God. God's truth for Israel is true for us today. I would like to sit here in the comfort and the convenience of my townhome and tell you this COVID-19 pandemic is almost over and that we're going to be returning to in-person worship soon and everything is going to be great, back to the way it was, and we're all going to be happy. Maybe that's what you want to hear, but that's not what I'm going to say to you and that's not what I'm free to say to you. Instead, what I can repeat to you is what the prophet Jeremiah repeated to Israel, God's truth. And God's truth for you today is the same it was for Israel 2,000 years ago, or 3,500 years ago, actually. It is better to struggle with God than to seek an end to struggle without God. Friends and neighbors in Christ, keep the faith. God is present. God will see us through this in God's time. Until then, we simply trust. God's gift of faith is for you. And as people of faith, we are designed and fortified and fulfilled for times exactly like this. Keep the faith, knowing that God's gift of Easter faith keeps it all. God's peace.